Hey guys, this is here, and to and to review the Lily Legolic Star Wars 4-pack minifix. So, these are uh, all of the boxes right here, and as you can see, uh, there's uh, Darth Vader, uh, and you also have uh, Asajj Ventress, you have uh, this First Order Technician, you have uh, this First Order Female General. So, yeah. Uh, this set here is uh, recommended for just uh, 6 or 12 and this set uh, Kree 5001 and each of them comes with a mini build. So uh, Darth Vader comes with uh, this uh, snow speeder uh, and Asajj Ventress comes with uh, a Y-Wing and uh, this uh, technician here comes with uh, this LAAT uh, carrier for the of the walkers and stuff and uh, this general here comes with uh, this cloud car for cloud city so these are the tops of the boxes here which uh, shows you the figure so this is the side of the box here uh, which shows you the exact same thing that's uh, shown at the front of the box and uh, the other side here, you have uh, this uh, LEGO Star Wars uh, The Force Awakens poster here, which is uh, pretty cool, and uh, all of them are the same. So this is the bottom, all of them are the same as well, and uh, this is the back. Uh, which shows you the entire set and uh, all of them are the same as well so uh, the ones that I am missing is uh, these two stormtroopers Kylo Ren and also this crew member so yeah but aside from that that's uh, pretty much it for the box so each one of these uh, figures here uh, come with a instruction manual so this one here is the one for uh, Darth Vader and also the mini snow speeder and this one is for Asajj Ventress, which has the Y-Wing build. This one is the LAAT carrier. And uh, this one is the one for the uh, First Order Female General. And you got uh, this Cloud Car. So, yeah, but aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for the instruction manual. So, first off, our figures, uh, this is uh, Darth Vader. So, he has uh, his uh, red lightsaber, which is uh, the very common one. And this one here, uh, he's, I believe he's uh, in included in the Darth uh, Vader's transformation set, which uh, is the one that came out in... Uh, in the 2000s and yeah it's a that's a pretty old set uh, so that's why they have uh, this uh, old older version of this uh, Darth Vader helmet so yeah I mean it looks uh, pretty cool uh, it's a pretty nice mold so under there uh, you got Anakin's uh, face which is all burnt up and you got uh, his Jedi uh, outfit which is also all burnt up and yeah, you got the belt and stuff, and uh, there's the back, you know, you got all the battle damage. Aside from that, uh, much else uh, to this figure here aside from the, the helmet, but um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for uh, Darth Vader. And the second figure here is uh, Asajj Ventress. She has uh, two of her red lightsabers with their unique uh, hilt modes, and yeah, they do look uh, pretty cool. And yeah, but so the figure itself here, you know, I mean, she looks uh, pretty cool. You got uh, the face print with uh, the white eyes and the white skin and stuff. Uh, so the the torso print here, you got her very nice uh, outfit with the jacket, I believe, and you got her belt. And this is the back does have uh, some tattoos and you got uh, some of her outfit it's kind of hard to see which part is uh, the skin and which part is uh, the outfit but um, yeah aside from that that's uh, pretty much it for Asajj Ventress and the third figure here is the First Order Technician. So uh, he has this uh, stutterer which is included with him, but uh, it doesn't work sadly. But um, yeah, when you press uh, this trigger, it just kind of pops the stud out. So yeah, that does suck. But uh, so the figure itself, uh, it's very generic. The helmet here, uh, you know, you got uh, this very nice mold. Uh, you got the First Order logo at the top. And yeah, uh, removing this helmet here, you can see you got the face print, which is just way too thick and way too big. And 
yeah, uh, the torso print is also very generic, you know, pretty, pretty simple design. And this is the back, nothing too special, no alternate expression or anything like that. But um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the first order technician. And the final figure here is uh, this first order female general. So uh, she's armed with uh, this uh, uh, normal pistol blaster. And yeah, so. Uh, she has the helmet, which is not new. Uh, it's from the original First Order uh, General. And yeah, uh, you got the First Order logo printed on top. And uh, the face print, I'm not quite sure if it's new or it's from another figure. But yeah, so the torso print, you got the uniform and stuff. Uh, so you got uh, this two kind of thingies, which they are for identifying you on which rank you are, so yeah, but uh, she does have a belt on uh, the kind of hip part, and yeah, so, so this is the back, does have the belt printing, you got some uh, black lining, but aside from that, you know, it's just a very simple printing, a very simple design, but um, yeah, so aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it. So the first build here is uh, the snow speeder, so all of these builds, they are all from the advent cal calendar, so yeah, but you got the canopy piece, which is uh, the long one, and you got uh, two of these laser cannons going uh, through the entire uh, kind of body and you know uh, it looks uh, pretty sleek and uh, this is the back you got the you got the kind of crusters part and you got the grill part so yeah but uh, just very uh, very simple build uh, nothing too special with it but um, yeah and the second build here is the y-wing which is uh, more interesting so you got the cockpit part you know uh, very simple and uh, you got the kind of engines part which is uh, uh, which is a pretty cool build and you know um, it, it doesn't quite look like the big Y-Wing but it does have the shape of it um, yeah the this kind of middle part with uh, all the four, uh, four of these uh, kind of uh, uh, rods going through here uh, they just use the this lightsaber hilt and you got uh, these stud pieces which represent the crust so yeah, and they are connected with this piece. So, yeah, but uh, aside from that, uh, not much else. And the third build here is this LAAT carrier. So, this one here is a very, very simple build. This one only has very few pieces. So, yeah, you got uh, this cockpit part with uh, this kind of V shape. And, yeah, uh, you got the wings. Uh, which are movable but yeah the the connection for them aren't so great uh, because it detaches off uh, very easily so that's kind of annoying but you can kind of uh, move the wing around if you want to but um, yeah aside from that there's uh, not much else to this uh, I guess you can put a vehicle down there if you have one, one of those uh, walkers but um, yeah Aside from that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the LA. And last but not least, this is the mini kind of cloud car. So this one, uh, you got two of these uh, pods with the canopy and you got the tips and stuff. And you know, they are connected with uh, one by one uh, modified uh, brick pieces. And you know, you got all of these uh, tile pieces at the bottom, they are all tiles, so you can have a smoother landing. And at the back, you just have the cruster in the middle connecting this entire thing. And you have two of these studs, but um, yeah, aside from that, uh, not much else to add to this uh, uh, cloud car. But um, yeah, I mean, that's uh, pretty much it for all of the builds. So, overall conclusion of uh, this set here, so. How do I think of it? Um, well, the figures themselves, I think uh, Sash Fankress is the best because uh, she has the best printing out of uh, of these four figures. And yeah, she has uh, the lightsaber health mode for her, which is definitely great. And yeah, I mean, uh, she, she is a very solid figure and yeah, the co quality control for her is uh, great. But uh, the, the quality control for these, uh, the rest of these figures aren't so great. 
um, but yeah, uh, for example, um, I mean, uh, this Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker is uh, pretty good, but it's just that the, um, uh, the this face print is uh, a little bit scratch, so yeah, they could have uh, improved on that, but uh, the helmet mode is cool. And yeah, I mean, uh, these two first or or the crew members, uh, this technician and this general, I mean, uh, they don't have very good printing. And yeah, the worst one is the this technician. So they could have like they they could have improved the quality of uh, these figures. Then yeah, it, it would have been great. And for the builds themselves, I think the builds. Yeah, I mean, if you want one of these builds, you can get. Uh, these figures uh, for them but I don't think it's uh, worth it since they are so small and yeah I mean uh, the rest of the set they don't really have uh, much interesting builds I mean the Y-Wing is uh, pretty cool but, uh, but but I mean aside from that the rest is just uh, it, it's just uh, pretty boring and yeah uh, if you want better Star Wars uh, figures, then I think you should get uh, like a uh, Pogo or Zin. Or if you want, if you want the sets along with the figures, then I think you should just get the original set. But maybe not for uh, their Vader though. But um, yeah. So uh, overall, this set is um, it's a okay set, but the quality control is uh, not so good. So, I think so. Set if you want to buy it down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's my video.